Hello everybody and welcome back to Dear Esther, part 2. And uh, we're gonna move further into this now. I was tampering around with my video settings earlier, and I think the quality is gonna be a lot better. I didn't even have the right resolution set, so I wasn't even doing 1280, 720. So, oh well. We're gonna go ahead and explore this fucking place and see what wonders await us. Yeah. Or horrors. You know, if you're into that thing. Seriously, this game is absolutely charming in, like, the work in the environment. Like, this game probably took fucking forever to make from that alone, just the environment. Unless they, you know, they took another game's environment and just prettied it up. You know, Daisy environment or something. Who fucking knows? I don't. music's getting pretty dark suddenly. Am I supposed to be seeing something here with this boat or no? I thought he was going to start talking about something. But, you know, whatever. I, I, that's cool, too. Hey, man. I wonder if I was supposed to go there or something. And there's something down there, too. Okay, they're giving me too many forks to take! I hate when games do this kind of a thing. You have 9,000 places to go, and you can choose one of them. It's a nightmare among any explorer kind of video game person. It's a nightmare. So many places to go, you don't want to pick the right there one and never... The bottom of the boat. How else could new hermits have arrived? I mean, I guess. Whatever, man. But, like, you really... Those are the lines that they're talking about in the fucking things, but hey. Like, they literally, it's nightmarish. You pick the right way, and then you're locked in from going back. And you can never return to the nine other areas you could have went off to, you know? It's, it's nightmarish. It is so nightmarish. Okay, so that does go up, like, the mountainside. I think. Or is that just... does that go around it? I, I had can't kidney even... stones and you visited me in the hospital. After the operation, when I was still half submerged in anesthetic, your outline and your speech both blurred. Now my stones have grown into an island and made their escape, and you have been rendered opaque by the car of a drunk. I think what he said right there, basically, is uh, he got in a car crash and fucking killed her. I think that's what it is. I think I just gotta reveal the storyline right there. Drunken car accident wound up killing his wife, I think. I'm not mistaken. Did, is, is that what he was saying? Like, I don't, I don't read Edgar Allan Poe. No insult to Edgar Allan Poe, I just don't. Really, I, I, poetic know-how, and that's a big fucking hole. I don't really understand poetic shit very easily. I just don't. And I'm not going back over there. I think it was just an infinite loop, so... Fuck it. I don't care. I'm gonna go down here and stare at a hole. What charnel house lies at the foot of this abyss? How many dead shepherds could fill this hole? Can I walk in that? Save. I can. Come back. That's weird, man. I'm gonna do it again, and see if there's just something different that happens when you do that. Come back. No, okay, never mind. I thought I was gonna, like, say something different every time that that happened. So I guess we go to that little shed that I saw earlier. Hi, how you doing? You don't see it, but there's totally somebody that's been sitting behind me this whole entire time, folks. And you'll never know. 
I've begun my ascent on the green slope of the western side. I've looked deep into the mountain from the shaft and understood that I must go up and then find the way under. I will stash the last vestiges of my civilization in the stone walls and work deeper from there. I'm drawn by the aerial and the cliff edge. There is some form of rebirth waiting for me there. Whatever, man. Uh, it's cool. Every time that this guy talks, though, I'm not gonna lie, it's almost like an eargasm. Like, he's just got, like, one of those kinds of voices. He puts my voice to shame, that's for damn certain. Like, every time that he stops to talk, dear Esther. The Bothy was oh. constructed originally in the early 1700s. By then, shepherding had formalized into a career. The first habitual shepherd was a man called Jakobsen, from a lineage of migratory Scandinavians. He was not considered a man of breeding by the mainlanders. He came here every summer whilst building the Bothy, hoping eventually that becoming a man of property would secure him a wife and a lineage. Donnelly records that it did not work. He caught some disease from his malcontented goats and died two years after completing it. There was no one to carve white lines into the cliff for him either. This game's fucking dark. Every story that this guy tells of somebody, they fucking died. He should probably stop telling stories. He might save a few people. Jesus. That's no. That's shit. Right, I can't jump. My legs don't have knees. I can't jump. It's impossible. No. Okay. more shit carved under these building walls. Like, what the fuck? Or are they using... Ah, paint. Okay. I was like, why is everything on this island Inventory. glow in the dark? A trestle table we spread wallpaper on in our first home. A folding chair. I laughed at you for bringing camping in the lakes. I was uncomfortable later and you laughed then. This diary. The bed with the broken springs. Once asleep you have to remember not to dream. A change of clothes, Donnelly's book, stolen from Edinburgh Library on the way here. I will burn them all on the last morning and make an aerial of my own. Okay, I think he's talking as he's going. I don't know why it took me until just now to realize that, but it's as you, like, explore things, it goes along to that. Like, I had an issue figuring that one out earlier. Like, I figured probably, but... I guess I'm just a big dumb shithead, huh? Shut up, phone. Give me a moment. That looks like a long fucking fall, and I thought there were hedgehogs down there. He left his body to the medical school and was duly opened out for a crowd of students 21 days after his passing. The report is included in my edition of his book. The syphilis have torn through his guts like a drunk driver, scrambling his organs like eggs on a plate. Oh! Enough definition remained for a cursory examination, and as I suspected, they found clear evidence of kidney stones. He's likely to have spent the last years of his life in considerable pain. Perhaps this is the root of his laudanum habit. Although its use makes him an unreliable witness, I find myself increasingly drawn into his orbit. Well, that was graphic. Also, I would be shitting my fucking pants out at this point if I were right here. I don't do precarious. I'm fine with heights, but it's usually the heights that are closer to the ground and the ones that are really high up for me because of the simple reason that I don't do heights with any kind of thing where it's precarious. Basically, my bed right there that I sleep on top of it took forever for me to get used to it because it would fucking wobble every time that I got into it and it was scarier to me than being on a fucking bridge for that reason. 
bridges don't really bother me that badly. However, I keep staring at the bottom of them all the time. It's kind of weird. They found Jakobsen in early spring. The thaw had only just come. Even though he'd been dead nearly seven months, his body had been frozen right down to the nerves and had not even begun to decompose. His fingernails were raw and bitten to the quick. They found the phosphorescent moss that grows in the caves deep under the nails. Whatever he'd been doing under the island when his strength began to fail is lost. He'd struggled halfway up the cliff again, perhaps in a delirium, perhaps trying to reach the Bothy's fire before curling into a stone and expiring. Again, this game, man, I don't know what to think of it. Are you going to say something here? Or no? Because this seems way too, like, perfectly placed to not have anything important. Okay, I guess there's nothing important. I've learned my lesson about swimming already. It's next to fucking useless, really. Turns out that the sirens just, if they want to pull you underwater, they're going to fucking pull you under the water. Fuck it. And the husk of a ship, apparently. It's getting too quiet. Music pick up something. I don't know. I don't do quiet areas. They're they're worse than the lousy, the loud and like noisy. I was thinking lousy. Climbing down reason. to the caves, I slipped and fell and injured my leg. I think the femur is broken. It is clearly infected. The skin has turned a bright, tight pink, and the pain is crashing in on waves. Winter tides against my shoreline, drowning out the ache of my stones. I struggled back to the Bothy to rest, but it has become clear that there is only one way this is likely to end. The medical supplies I looted from the trawler have suddenly found their purpose. They will keep me lucid for my final ascent. Was that a thing that literally happened, or...? I'm gonna quick save. Uh, was that supposed to be something that literally happened? Is that like what it is? Like he's. I don't know. Did I really just snap my leg like a twig? He said the femur was broken too, so I have no fucking idea how you trip and break a femur, but hell. What is this? What are you? What are you doing here? Why did I come all the way out here? What did that accomplish? Why? Like, there's all of these little areas to places like that, but nothing to do with them. What the fuck? This game is weirdly mysterious. It's not the kind of mysterious where it's like, hey, you know, you want to know more, and it's amazing, and it's like, oh my god, it's a good feeling. It's the mysterious in that, am I supposed to be doing something that I haven't been doing? I don't know what the fuck I should be doing right now. I have no idea. And that's what's driving me nuts more than anything about this game. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing something, am I missing the point, or is this it? And I'm getting a million thoughts going through my head right now about that. I guess into the cave we go. Into the cave of wonders. We're going to find a magic carpet and a genie. I'm going to name him Robin Williams. And he will be my best friend. Can I jump in this hole again? I'm jumping into it. Woo! Oh, I was supposed to do that? What the fuck? Okay, was I... Oh, wait, was that what you were talking about where he broke his leg? Donnelly did not pass through the caves. 
From here on in, his guidance, unreliable as it is, has gone from me. I understand now that it is between the two of us and whatever correspondence could be drawn from the wet rocks. I am so fucking lost. Should I have done that? Can I quick load? Okay. Good thing I saved there. Uh, let's go up the stairs then, I guess, before I drop down there. I don't fucking know what I'm supposed to do, but it, yeah... I don't know anymore. Hmm. I don't think I can go up there anyway, so that was a fucking lost cause. I just instinctually dropped into a hole, and that just happened to be the right thing to do at that time. Okay. Geronimo, motherfucker. From here, this last time, I have understood there is no turning back. The torch is failing along with my resolve. I can hear the singing of the sea creatures from the passages above me, and they are promising the return of the gulls. Or it's sirens, and you're totally going to die. But at least you'll die happy. I hear they're quite attractive. Water. This is fucking beautiful, like, Jesus. Thank God he didn't, like, land from down there. Like, imagine if he just, like, landed on that fucking pole, just, like, split like it's... <laughs> fucking like a movie. Usually a cartoon. There's a lot of nut shots in cartoon movies. Have you noticed that for kids? A lot of nut shots. I'm running a lot faster in this cave. Maybe because it's a closed-off area. <sighs> wow. This place is fucking beautiful. They'd stop the traffic back as far as the Sanford Junction and come up the hard shoulder like radio signals from another star. It took 21 minutes for them to arrive. I watched Paul time it to the second. On his watch. Hmm. I'm having issues understanding this game, honestly. I might need to look some shit up about it. And then I'll sum it up. Oh my god, dude, this game. Jesus. This is fucking phenomenal. I'm taking a screenshot of that right now. I'm also going to save. This is fucking phenomenal, this game. So I see now there's a point for the whole Q key to swim up. That's neat. That's one of those I hope the water is not shallow moments. Because boy would you be fucked. Especially if you landed in wrong like fucking... Yeah, no. I've done my fair share of, you know, getting fucked up by landing in water wrong. I'm good. I am all good, thank you. What are you? What's in you? Okay. Not important. Got it. Still phenomenal.
So, I'm assuming that's blood. Might just be lighting, that's really weird. Yeah, I think that's what it was. So, what do we know so far about this game? I'm guessing this is like an island where it's, I don't know, I think this is like a weird fucking thing summoning people to this. It's Silent Hill. That's what it is, it's Silent Hill. People go here, they go insane, and they die. Silent Hill, in a nutshell. I like it. Phone, I will murder you in your sleep. I laugh every time I open up my phone, I get like a fucking screenshot of... Final dream. I sat at peace with Jacobson and watched the moon over the Sandford Junction. Goats grazed on the hard shoulder. The world gone to weed and redemption. He showed me his fever scars, and I mine. Between each shoulder, the nascency of flight. So thank you for being rude and cutting me off. I think I'm supposed to go up. But... Um, I don't know. I don't even know where to go right now. There's way too many places to go. Left, right, up, down, sideways, to the left, back and right. I don't know. What I was... What was I going to say? Because I don't even remember. Fuck it. I don't even remember anymore. Jeez. Could you imagine actually being in a place like this? Like, jeez. This is crazy. Okay. So that goes nowhere. I'm not surprised. So left probably goes nowhere also. But I think I should just explore them just to see if this guy has something intelligent to say on the matter. I might be missing something. Anything to help me grasp the concept of this game a little more. It's beginning to sound like Elder Scrolls music. Like it's literally on the level of that kind of shit. Sounds like I'm exploring Skyrim. I don't know, the soundtrack in this game is definitely nothing weak. That's for sure. That's for damn sure. Hey look guys, another dead end. Awesome, let's go to the other end. Okay, I guess we're going up. I should have just did that from the get-go. That took way too much time to find out nothing at all. There's a lot of paint cans in this game. And what is up with the fungus, exactly? Like, apparently that's a thing that people find very important on this fucking island for some reason. It's reminding me of that movie Dune, where, like, everybody fucking worships spice for some reason. It's like, the spice, it's important, it does this, or I don't even know what it fucking does. All I know, all I know is it just made you look like you were really, like, beaming, blue-eyed. That's it. Yeah. Fucking landscape still beautiful in this game, very.
More paint buckets with fungus. I think it's fungus. It might literally just be like some luminescent paint. I don't know, but I assume that what they're trying to get across is that it's a fungus. Oh, this is fantastic. Are these like... What is this? Crystals. Dude, that's fucking awesome! Dude, this game is fucking crazy, man. They put so much fucking work into this shit. I'll hold the hand you offered to me. From the summit down to this well. Into the dark waters where the small flowers creep for the sun. Headlights are reflected in your retinas. Moonlit in the shadow of the crematorium chimney. Crazy ass game. Boring ass game, but a crazy ass game. Something Damascus is fallen? I don't know. This is where shit hits the fan, doesn't it? I can tell by the weird ambiance playing in my ears right now. It's kind of fucked up. Away from being a gay? Away? Astray. Away from being a something. I really think it's a gay. I'm not even kidding about that. And a something be pumpkins weep. Got it. Stringy things on the ceiling. Rocks. Glowy moss and shit on the... They, they, they're just popping up. Like, almost in my render distance, suddenly. Just, be like, hey, hey, guy, watch this. Boom! Right in my eye. More water. Oh, God, I don't like this kind of fucking, like, cave building stuff. I can't ever do this kind of thing without ever, like, holding my own breath like it just scares the shit out of me. Just imagining having to go underwater to swim somewhere, but you have no idea how long it's going to be, and you just kind of hope that there's an area to breathe between there and running out of oxygen. Oh, God, that would scare the fucking hell out of me. Another hole? Or do I... Oh, no! No! I had to fall! Fuck! Me! Oh. This is important, isn't it? This is that... This is a street. Okay. So, what about that now? Just keep going down the street, I guess? I'm obviously not running out of breath anytime soon. Clearly a mermaid man. That's what I'm getting out of this, is I am mermaid man. Am I supposed to be over there, or...?
Oh, it's gonna say, great, another hole! Fuck me! But, luckily, it was a lie. It was all a lie. Yeah. I'm gonna leave you off on that note, guys. So... Yeah. Is this literally my second record? Did I go through two zones? I don't even remember. I think I literally went through two zones and didn't even think to fucking re-record. Oh well. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna let you guys go right here, guys. So... Bleh. I'll see you in the last part. I think it's the last part, at least. We'll find out. Later.